Live, local, late breaking. This is 4029 News at 10. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Another year of Halloween during the pandemic, but this year should be a little different with a successful vaccine rollout for those 12 and older. Top U.S. health leaders say that children should enjoy the holiday, but of course stay safe. Let's bring in 4029th Robert Sir. He is joining us live right now. Uh, Robert, what do you have to say? <sighs> Well, Paige, we're here in Rogers outside of the stages of Fear Haunted House. About an hour ago, there was a long line of people waiting to get inside, and it's a perfect reminder that it is the Halloween season, the time for candy and costumes and everybody's favorite villain, the coronavirus. A lot of parents um, have been a little frustrated that uh, their kids have been missing out on a lot of holiday celebrations for the past two years. But this year, the pandemic is different, and so is Halloween according to pediatrician Dr. Gary Kirkulis with Phoenix Children's Hospital. Kids can safely uh, trick or treat and enjoy some of the holiday uh, festivities, um, although they still need to do it safely. While overall new COVID-19 cases are decreasing across the U.S., the American Society of Pediatrics says more than 25% of those being reported are in children. Officials say it's especially important to keep those safe who aren't eligible yet for a vaccine. The AAP recommends families staying outside where the virus doesn't spread as easily and trick or treating in small groups. There's a lot of outdoor activities that they can do, you know, like uh, pumpkin patches and corn mazes. A lot of zoos are having Halloween special events going on. So those are all very, very safe activities to do. But if you do go indoors, make sure to mask up. All those Halloween parties, uh, we have you know multiple family members from from different households. Definitely still recommending wearing masking, and you can make those masks a part of your, your your outfit. I mean, you can buy themed masks to match your outfit. Having fun while staying safe, that makes Halloween less scary. Yeah, less scary indeed, guys. Now, experts also say that whatever your costume mask is, that is not an acceptable substitute for the type of mask that features layers or multiple layers of breathable fabric or a disposable surgical type mask that covers the mouth and nose quite snugly. They say children should not wear a costume mask over a COVID face mask because then it could make things difficult to breathe. You can certainly have fun this Halloween weekend. Just don't leave that common sense on the living room couch. We're live in Rogers. Robert, sir, 4029 News. Robert, thanks. Some good tips there. Well, 